Hidden Secret Life of William Holden William Holden was born William Franklin Beadle Jr. on April 17, 1918, in Offalon, Illinois, emerged as one of the most iconic actors of his time, blending charm, talent, and a unique intensity in his performances. Raised in a middle-class family, his father was a chemist and his mother a schoolteacher. Holden spent much of his childhood in Pasadena, California, where he attended South Pasadena High School. He developed an early interest in acting during his time at Pasadena Junior College, where he participated in local theater productions, sharpening the skills that would one day catapult him to stardom. Holden's career in Hollywood began somewhat serendipitously. In 1937, a talent scout spotted him while he was performing in a play at Pasadena Junior College, which led to a contract with Paramount Pictures. He adopted the stage name William Holden and made his debut in the movie Golden Boy, 1939, where he played the role of a talented violinist torn between pursuing a career in music or boxing. The role made him a star overnight, although Holden himself felt inadequate in the part, attributing much of his success to his co-star, Barbara Stanwyck, who mentored him through the process. Despite his initial self-doubt, Golden Boy marked the beginning of a career that would span more than four decades and leave an indelible mark on Hollywood. While Holden made a significant impact with his debut, it took him a few more years to establish himself as a leading man. During the early 1940s, Holden appeared in a series of forgettable films, many of which were typical studio assignments, lacking the depth or gravitas that would later define his legacy. His career was temporarily halted by World War II when he served as a second lieutenant in the United States Army Air Forces, contributing to the war effort. Upon returning to Hollywood after the war, Holden's career took a dramatic turn for the better. In 1950, Holden was cast in Billy Wilder's Sunset Boulevard, a role that would redefine his career. In the film, he played Joe Gillis, a struggling screenwriter who becomes entangled in a complicated and tragic relationship with an aging silent film star, Norma Desmond, played by Gloria Swanson. Holden's portrayal of a jaded, cynical writer stuck in Hollywood's fading glamour struck a chord with audiences and critics alike. The film was a massive success and is now considered one of the greatest films ever made. Holden's performance earned him his first Academy Award nomination for Best Actor, solidifying his place among Hollywood's elite. Following Sunset Boulevard, Holden entered what is often referred to as the golden period of his career. He became one of the most sought-after actors in Hollywood, known for his rugged masculinity, complex character portrayals, and ability to balance charm with a darker, more troubled persona. In 1953, Holden won the Academy Award for Best Actor for his performance in Stalag 17, where he played a cynical and self-serving prisoner of war during World War II. This role showcased his range and versatility, proving he could handle both leading man roles and morally ambiguous characters. The 1950s and early 1960s were the pinnacle of Holden's career. He appeared in a string of critically acclaimed films that further cemented his reputation as one of the finest actors of his generation. In Sabrina, 1954, he starred alongside Audrey Hepburn and Humphrey Bogart, playing the charming, wealthy playboy David Larrabee. His on-screen chemistry with Hepburn made the romantic comedy a classic, and their off-screen romance during the production was the stuff of Hollywood legend. Holden's ability to tackle complex, flawed characters reached new heights with his role in The Bridge on the River Kwai, 1957. Directed by David Lean, the film tells the story of British prisoners of war forced to build a bridge for their Japanese captors during World War II. Holden played the role of Shears, an American POW who escapes from the Japanese camp, only to be coerced into returning for a dangerous mission. The film was a critical and commercial success, winning seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture. While Holden did not win an Oscar for his performance, his role was instrumental in the film's success and remains one of his most iconic. As Holden aged, he continued to deliver remarkable performances, though his career began to slow down in the mid-1960s. However, in 1969, he experienced a resurgence with his role in The Wild Bunch, a brutal and groundbreaking western directed by Sam Peckinpah. Holden played Pike Bishop, an aging outlaw leading his gang through a changing world at the turn of the 20th century. 
The film was noted for its realistic violence and cynical tone, with Holden's portrayal of Bishop capturing the themes of aging, obsolescence, and moral ambiguity. The Wild Bunch became a cult classic and is now regarded as one of the greatest westerns ever made. Holden's career in the 1970s saw him continue to work steadily, with notable roles in films like The Towering Inferno, 1974, and Network, 1976. In Network, Holden played Max Schumacher, a television news executive who becomes disillusioned with the industry's moral decay. The film, a biting satire of the television industry, earned Holden his third and final Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. Although he did not win, his performance was widely praised for its depth and emotional complexity. Despite his professional success, Holden's personal life was marked by turmoil. He struggled with alcoholism throughout much of his career, a battle that took a significant toll on both his personal relationships and his health. Holden was known for his bouts of heavy drinking, which often led to erratic behavior. His drinking problem became particularly problematic during the later years of his life, leading to strained relationships with friends, family, and co-stars. Despite these struggles, Holden was deeply committed to wildlife conservation, a cause that became increasingly important to him in his later years. He co-founded the Mount Kenya Game Ranch and was passionate about preserving endangered species. Holden's personal life also saw its share of romances and heartbreaks. He was married to actress Brenda Marshall from 1941 to 1971 and the couple had two sons. However, their marriage was strained by Holden's affairs, most notably with Audrey Hepburn and actress Stephanie Powers, whom he dated in the final years of his life. Powers later described Holden as the love of her life and has worked to preserve his legacy through the William Holden Wildlife Foundation, established after his death to continue his conservation efforts. Tragically, Holden's life was cut short in 1981 when he accidentally fell and hit his head in his Santa Monica apartment. His death was a shock to the world, and his loss was deeply felt by his friends, fans, and the Hollywood community. He was 63 years old. Despite his struggles, William Holden left behind a lasting legacy as one of Hollywood's most talented and beloved actors. His body of work, which spans over 70 films, continues to be celebrated for its depth, complexity, and emotional authenticity. Holden's legacy endures not only through his films but also through the conservation work he championed later in life. The William Holden Wildlife Foundation, run by Stephanie Powers, continues to promote conservation education and environmental protection in his memory. His performances in iconic films such as Sunset Boulevard, Stalag 17, The Bridge on the River Kwai, and Network have stood the test of time, and he remains an inspiration to actors and filmmakers today. In many ways, William Holden represented the quintessential Hollywood leading man, ruggedly handsome, endlessly charismatic, and willing to delve into the complexities of the human condition. His life, filled with highs and lows, reflected the very qualities he brought to his characters, charm, vulnerability, strength, and, ultimately, a profound humanity. His influence on the world of cinema is undeniable, and his contributions to both the entertainment industry and wildlife conservation ensure that his legacy will endure for generations to come. To live in the hearts of those left behind is not to die. Goodbye William Holden, we will always remember you.